Hello, Alma Smith. Hello, Judy uh, uh, Buter. How are you guys? Well, I am so excited. Hello, Robert White. We are uh, starting in about four minutes. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. Uh, hello, Robert White. We're going to be doing um, six, seven, seven live webcasts today. I'm so excited. Cheryl Ann Tolson, good to see you. If you guys, once you get, uh, once you log in, can you tell me uh, how many people are drawing with you? If it's just you or how many people are drawing, please tell me the state and the city that you're you're in. This is, uh, we're doing seven webcasts today, all Pacific Coast time. And it, this is a wonderful, grand experiment for me. I wanted to see uh, just how how far I could take this Facebook Live webcast. Now, my one concern, of course, was the uh, firewalls from the school districts and the classrooms to be able to log in and project the this webcast on social media like Facebook. And uh, I didn't know I was torn between doing it live on YouTube or live on Facebook. The Facebook Live is so much technologically, technologically more easier, if that's proper grammar, uh, hello, Omar Sharif Syed. How are you? Can you please, everybody, tell me uh, where you're from? Hey, Cheryl, how are you? All the way from Albuquerque. How you doing? Um, if you guys could send me a note, send me a text. Would you have where you're from? What state? We're going to start in two minutes officially. We're going to start two minutes. And uh, hoping to, we'll have these recorded, of course, so, and we'll put these on um uh, we will put these on YouTube afterwards. This is my nine o'clock Pacific time elementary school program. And Keith Armstrong's at school. Hello, Mr. Armstrong. He's watching with the second graders. I'm so pleased I got second graders. Hello, what's the name? What's the name of your school, Mr. Armstrong? I'll give you guys a, I'll give you a shout out. Now we could have one school classroom or we could have 7,000 classrooms. I, but we have Karen Wall. Hi, Karen. Karen Wall has drawn with me for the last 49 days every day. She's, we've been doing these, uh, you can draw, you know, 30 minutes challenge. We did a 30 minute challenge. I, th I mean, we did a 30 day challenge and we turned it into a 90 day challenge. So if any of you kids and uh, want to draw with your mom and your dad in the evening with me, I go live every day. I go live every day uh, on Facebook, okay? It's really cool. Cumberland Head Elementary School. Well, hello, Cumberland Head Elementary School. Do we have any more elementary schools? We're gonna start in one minute. Do we have any more uh, elementary schools? I'm so glad we have the se uh, second graders at Cumberland Head Elementary School with Mr. Armstrong. I'm so pleased. Yay, second graders. Yay, Mr. Armstrong's class. Woo hoo hoo. You guys ready? Do you have paper and pencil? I am so excited. I, I Hey, I have one class for sure, and we could have one, or we could have 7,000. Now, hey, kids, you know what this is called? I gave myself the license to flop, meaning I had a dream of getting thousands of classrooms, but I figured if I had at least one classroom join me, I was incredibly successful. So thank you guys for joining me. Let's start. It is now 11 o'clock. Uh, and see, it's 11 o'clock Texas time. So it is 9 o'clock Pacific time. So let's go ahead and push start. We're going to draw for 30 minutes. It's going to be really, really neat. Well, let me tell you uh, a little bit about me, my quick introduction, okay? And I started teaching drawing in 1985 this is before your parents were born uh i started teaching drawing on a tv show called the secret city with commander mark and we got to millions of kids around the world then in 1996 i did a t another tv series this was me as captain mark with the imagination station and we got to we did 180 episodes of these and look at, I won the Emmy for that one. Someone say, ooh, la, la. Someone type in the textbook, or in the text box, ooh, la, la. Well, I'm telling you that about the Emmy for two reasons, okay? The first reason is I'm trying to impress you so you'll like me and think I'm cool. And the second reason is that I have put these old shows, uh, 
on Amazon Prime. So if you guys enjoy it, it's a free uh, uh, free series there. You can also watch a lot of uh, my drawing lessons on YouTube, okay? So um, here's some of the students that I have taught in the past. Some of the students I've taught in the past work with uh, uh, George Lucas, and they do backgrounds and robots. Some of my old students um, uh, worked on uh, um, Despicable Me with the Minions. Some of my old students in years past worked on Baomax, uh, Big Hero 6, Kung Fu Panda, Frozen, Despicable Me, The Little Mermaid, and Spider-Man. So if you like any of these movies and so many more, maybe you want to become an animator or a graphic illustrator yourself, okay? These are drawings that I drew to celebrate my students' a wonderful success. You see, I go around the world and I go to comic cons, you see? I go all over the place. Dubai and uh, uh, Venice and India, all over. All right, so we're going to have so much fun. Blah, blah, blah. Let's draw. Take your piece of paper. Here's your paper. Let's draw. Put a dot in the middle. Put a dot in the middle and draw four squares. Now, we're not going to have time to draw four, but we're going to do it for sure two. Okay, draw four squares. And right up here, yeah, I want you to write, uh, right, right up at the very top, write, I can draw in 3D and go BAM! I can draw in 3D, right there. See that? Put that on your top of your paper. All right, once you get that, give me a thumbs up. I can draw in 3D. Go, go, bam, go do three, three, bam. Because I'm going to show you today that you can draw in 3D. Maybe you want to become an artist or an illustrator. I don't know. Let's see. So let's start in square number one. And let's put, I'm going to fix my camera right here. Maybe I'll put two dots. One, two. I'm going to put two dots straight across from each other. Can you guys see that? Put two dots. And I'll, and I'll take this and I'll zoom in just a bit so you can maybe see it even better two dots straight across from each other now this first word I'm going to teach you is called a four shortened circle so draw your four shortened circle here and take aim now there's 12 words I'm going to teach you about drawing and this is just one of them okay this is a four shortened circle come down on both sides and we're gonna start let's go back in time let's go way back in time let's go back to the time of breakfast I bet you thought we were, I was going to say go back to the time of marching mummies in ancient Egypt or go back in time to the time of dinosaurs. Nope, we're going to go back to the time of breakfast. Put a shadow on the ground. This will be your cereal bowl. You're going to travel back uh, just an hour back to the, when you were at home drawing breakfast. This is called a shadow. Somebody in the text box type in the word shadow. That's one of these 12 words. And if you learn these 12 what I call renaissance words you can draw in 3d here's another word i want you to type in the text box there somebody type in the text box horizon light there's 12 words of drawing and if you learn these 12 words you can draw anything 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 in 3d it's that easy okay and i'll show you a chart with those 12 words maybe if i can find it because i have everything else laid around here but i don't have the chart handy but i'll find it i'll find it all right, now, take your pencil. Now, right here, let's put right up here. Let's draw. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, uh, class delayed two hours. Judy said class delay. Oh, because of the weather. Look at I missed all these comments. I'm going through. Hello from Canada, guys. Hello, Annette. Hi, guys. Oh, this is. they grew up watching the TV show. I'm on a bus with, oh, Greg. Hey, Jack Walsh is watching. Okay. Very quick uh, announcement, you guys. Jack Walsh, uh, NASA artist, NASA artist, uh, uh, is uh, coming on here. And he's going to be drawing with us. Come on down. That's at 1 o'clock. I'll tell you more about that in just a second. Thank you, guys. Hello, the fourth graders from Ivy Ranch. Hello, Karen. We have the fourth graders from Ivy Ranch. Okay, I'm going to get drawing. I'm so excited. I have to remember. I'm going to draw and not talk to all the text box. All right. Here, I'm so glad we have Ivy Ranch. Are you guys from San Diego? What state? Tell me where you're from. Look at here's overlapping. That's another one of the 12 words. So we have horizon line. We have shadow. We have a squished circle. That's foreshortening. 
you got it's just 12 words and if you learn those 12 you can draw in 3d look at this look how many much cereal you have wait I have an idea I have an idea this let's take the drawing and let's let's have it let's have your drawing Let, let's have let's have it uh, floating out in the space look let's have it drifting off look at this let's add extras always add extras see right here on the bottom see down here write the word ordinary can you guys do that write the word ordinary I never want your drawing to be ordinary I always 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 want you to add lots of extra ideas can you write that down there I want you to make your drawing extraordinary okay say that say say extraordinary I want you to add tons of extra ideas so this is an extra idea here's another extra idea maybe have your feet jumping out here look at maybe have your feet sticking out overlapping thank you Karen Oceanside California great to see you I hope I see all of you in in that San Diego County area at San Diego Comic Fest on March 7th through the 10th I'm so excited I'm coming to San Diego Comic Fest March 7th through the 10th. I'm going to be um, at, it's right there. I hope you come down and hang with me and, and draw with me. I'm doing family workshops all day. But action lines, guys, put action lines, action lines. Always make your drawing extraordinary. Lots of, lots of ideas. Bam, put an exclamation mark there. Here, here's some other extra ideas. Why don't we put a, uh, here, let's put a window. Let's put a window right here. Put a window. Now, I got this idea for this drawing, just to draw this, from uh, my book. I have written 14 books on how to draw. Now, this book's called Mark Kissler's Imagination Station. And I wanted to show you this. This one has tons of drawings in it, but I did on page 57 in this one. If you have it, you can turn this page, page 57. I did this cereal bowl here that we're drawing, but then I put this cereal bowl on top of a box and a block, and I made... A cereal bowl with a skateboard going into it. Isn't that fun? Always think of what extra ideas you can add. There's a wonderful book for you guys to get. Now, let's go ahead and just put a window frame pane in here so we can have all of your friends. And let's zoom that in so we can see. Let's have the I'm gonna put your friends in there, see? So here's 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 Betty. Betty's looking in. Open the door, open the door, she says open the door and then here there's Betty and then here's this is Billy Bob here's Billy Bob back here Betty get off my foot you're on my foot Bill, Betty's here and here's Billy get off my foot okay then here's here's uh here's Pepe here's Pepe say hi to Pepe here's Pe Pepe's going over he's looking and going oh that cereal looks good oh that cereal looks good so here's Here's a, a Sally. Here's Billy. Here's Pepe, and then here's here's uh, here's Hilda. Here's Hilda. She's over here. Hilda's going. Hey, how come we're bald? Why are we all bald? We don't have any hair. I don't want to be bald. I want hair. I know I'm gonna scream. I draw hair. Why does he scream when he draws hair? Why? I'm gonna draw hair. I hope that speaker didn't blow up in your classroom. I'm sorry, I can't stand it. It's my instinct. I can't stop drawing hair. Hair! Hair! Wait, wait, here's the sun. Put the sun right here. Here's our light source. The sun's here, and the sun's shining this way. Oh, look at they're all bald. Okay, they all need hair? Okay, we'll give them hair. I'm gonna give, uh, uh, I'm gonna give, this is Pedro. I'm gonna give Pedro short hair. There's Pedro, and then here's Pepe, and I'm going to give Pepe, here's Pepe, you know what, Pepe has curly hair, I'm going to give Pepe curly hair, there's Pepe's hair, and then so here's, there's Pepe, and then uh, here, are, no, wait, that's, that's Billy, that's, that's Pedro, and this is, I forgot her name, someone help me, who is this, this is Sally, Sally, I'm going to give Sally, look at one long hair, look at, her hair is so long, look, Look, she's like Rapunzel. She's like Rapunzel. But she's Sally Unzel. Here's Sally Unzel right here. Now down here, watch. I'm going to put a shadow. You know what? She needs to get a haircut. She needs a haircut. 
You guys are so awesome. Take your pencil. Look at this. You guys have pencil power. Take your pencil and say pencil power. You guys are so awesome. Take your finger and go aha. All right, everybody, hold up your finger. Go aha. We're going to add shading to the sun. Now, watch. This is really, really, really cool. Sun's here. So I'm going to shade just a little bit here, just a little bit. Now, don't go crazy, guys. Oh, is that supposed to be Betty? Oh, her name's Betty. I'm looking at the text box, and people said I named her Sally. So here's Betty. She needs a haircut, right? One single hair. Here's the sun. Look at shade over here. Shade over here. Shade, shade, shade. Put the shade. Look at that. I'm going to shade it dark on the side and get a little bit lighter as you go. A little bit lighter. And there's your cereal. That's so cool. Maybe I'll put a little bit of shading in each of our little friends. Look at us. Look at us. We're, look at us. Look at us. The sun's shining here. Put the put a little shadow on the side here. Put a little shadow on the side. That's awesome, you guys. All right. Let's move on to square number two. You guys ready? Let's move on to square number two. And in our second square, let's... uh. Let's take what we learned here and let's draw the flying saucer. Put two dots straight across from each other. Put two dots straight across from each other. We're going to take that same shape we learned and we're going to draw a four shortened circle. Four shortened circle. It's really, really cool. All right, so I wanted to tell you guys if you want to come back at one o'clock Pacific time, you can write this down. One o'clock Pacific. Uh, p.m. that this is pacific time pacific time if you guys really like the idea of spaceships and stuff uh nasa artist jack moore nasa nasa artist we call him nasa jack he's an amazing artist uh, from nasa and he's going to give us a walking tour a live walking tour of the saturn V rocket and then, if he has enough time, he's going to sit down and he's going to draw the Saturn V rocket for you. That's at the elementary program at 1 o'clock. I hope you can join us, draw the face, and hang it down right here. Are you guys having fun? Give me a thumbs up if you're having fun, you second graders and you third graders and any, any of you school kids. Give me a thumbs up. You guys having fun? I need some thumbs. Oh, I got one thumb. Thank goodness I got a thumb. I need more thumbs. I need more love, you guys. Give me some more love. Okay, you guys are flying here. Woohoo! And your hair. Your hair is flying. There, oh, I got another thumb. Woo! I'm all excited I get a thumb on the screen. Do you guys know how that is? All right. Oh, look at that. I got three thumbs. I'm so popular. I can't stand it. All right. There you are. Look, you're flying. You're taking off. Hey, Karen Wall. Karen Wall, give me an uh, audio video check, would you? Audio uh, 1 through 5, video 1 through 5. There's your nose. Here you are. You're pointing. See, we're drawing. Remember, we're, we're drawing you. Here you are. You're taking off. Woohoo! It's going to be awesome. 1 o'clock is NASA Jack, you guys. It's going to be great. At 2 o'clock, we have PM Pacific Time. We have Disney artist Tim Decker is going to draw with us today. Uh, and he was my guest uh, during my 30 day, 30 drawings. And he did a, a really cool Disney drawing. And <clears throat> at 6.30, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of um, Pocahontas um, or any of you ever heard of Mulan, but Disney artist and character designer Tom Bancroft is going to be our special guest artist. So this is all today. 6.30, that's our family night, so I uh, hope you guys can come to that here. Draw the landing gear. Draw the landing gear. The back, the back was shorter and smaller. I got a whole day planned for you guys. I'm so excited. Excited. I had a delicious oatmeal bowl this morning, so I have lots of energy, and I'm ready to draw. Here you are. You're waving. Now, remember, we're going to use this. See this guy? This is you reaching out, right? You're taking off pencil power. So here. Draw, there's a circle for your hand. I'm gonna put both your hands reach out. This hand's a little bit bigger. Okay, and your here's your hands. You're like you're here. Uh, I'm gonna put your thumbs. See, thumbs go up, thumbs go up. You're like you're you're reaching, see, you're reaching. I love you. You're reaching. Give me a hug. I love you. I love you. 
here you go and here's your now I don't know if you're screaming here I don't know if you're screaming if you're burping or if you're yodeling I don't know someone send me a text hello we have Lisa Wiling here all the way from Brazil from Sao Paulo Brazil Lisa tell us what time it is in Brazil right now put the Sun right here guys put the Sun I went to Lisa's elementary and junior high school two years ago and I was there for a week I did a teacher artist and residence program and then look at I'm gonna put you here's your here's your friend back here your friends going help use overlapping here's your friend and your friends hands look at your friend here's his nose here's his hair ah! look at there's his hair and your friend look at he's like ah! put the hands 3 30 p.m. Lisa are you are you with your kids are you webcasting with your kids are you webcasting with your students ah put the thumbs up thumbs going up make you screaming here you're screaming I don't know if you're screaming or if you're shouting with the light I don't know put a little thickness oh this is fun now you kids your son's here so put a little shading inside just a little bit Sun's school is out. Okay, sun's here. Shade down here. 3.30 p.m. Good to see you. Down over here. Down along here. Well, thank you, Lisa, for inviting me to do that school assembly series with you. If any of you other art, uh, teachers out there want me to come visit your school, uh, do contact me. Uh, it is, uh, it's a wonderful live school assembly program. And I do have grant money available uh, in order to uh, uh, spread the cost of those visits out uh, through my nonprofit. This whole program today, right at the bottom of your paper, would you guys? We're going to go to our next square. But this whole thing is brought to you by uh, my Mark Kistler Imagination in Initiative. It's a nonprofit that uh, my team and myself created in order to promote, educate, and inspire all you students around the world with the power and the joy of drawing and visual arts so it's called mark kistler's imagination initiative and uh initiative mark kistler's initiative oops i forgot the word imagination in there but uh, there's a button at my website if you guys go to my website www.markkistler.com it tells you all about it and our purpose and the reason that i'm uh I'm doing these free webcasts all over for you, the Pacific Coast here, uh, is to just promote, inspire you guys to draw and to pursue creativity and imagination. Maybe, maybe you want to become an artist, an illustrator, a graphic novelist, an interior decorator, a, a Broadway theater designer. Um, maybe today is all about, it's Dublin, Ireland. We have Dublin, Ireland on the line with us. Hi, Dublin, Ireland. It's so great to see you. Go to my website, my nonprofit. Click that link at the very top. You'll see a little link that my nonprofit tells the story behind it and our mission. And if you guys, uh, of course, if you want to support us in our mission, click that button. We'd love to have it. All right, we have 10 more minutes. We're 19 minutes into our 30 minutes. So let's see, look at that. We have our cereal bowl. Let's put a little, put a little exhaust pipe right here. Wee! Little exhaust pipe. Look at you guys are taking off. Put some action lines. Put some action lines. Oh, I love put some action lines. Isn't that fun? Put a couple clouds. Maybe put a cloud right here. Maybe put another cloud back behind there. It's overlapping. Maybe just put one single cloud. See, I did an odd number of clouds. Use little curly lines for a little bit of a shadow. Put a shadow under that cloud. Now this is, this is, uh, cloud is inspired by one of my books called You Can Draw in 30 Minutes. Okay, let's shade right here. Shade, 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 shade. And now I'm gonna show you uh, page 83. This is uh, from the book. I'm gonna show you how to take this and to add your own ideas because we're not going to have time to do two more so maybe you want to do another variation of this so I'm going to show you a variation on page 83 page 83 and this is my Marcus imagination station book I'm going to uh, let me pull it out here so you can see all right let's find page 83 and I'll show you um, uh oh that's not that's not the page I was trying to show you it's a fun drawing 
but page 80. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong book. I got so many books to refer to. It's in this book. It's in my drawing and 3D book. Let's see if this is the one. Page 83. 83. There it is. Okay, this was a... It's not Daring Drugs, but that's a fun one. Isn't that a fun drawing? And look at this one has 3D lettering too. D for drool. Now, here's what I was thinking I wanted to show you. You see, I start with a simple shape, and look at that. Look at what we drew. We drew a deep space droid. So that would be a nice a variation for you. A variation. Adding extras, right? A variation. Here. So up here, right? Variation. Always redraw the drawing and add variations of your own ideas. Write that. That's a great word. Variations. Add extras always add extras this is where your imagination comes in your imagination that's what's important today it's your ideas so you learn how to draw some basic drawings with me and then mix in your awesome awesome ideas take your pencil go aha i'm gonna let you guys choose what we're gonna draw next are we gonna draw a marshmallow parachuting into the scene are we gonna draw a dinosaur we have seven more minutes. Are we going to draw a chubby ninja squirrel? What are we going to draw? Are we going to draw? Are we going to draw a little fishy? Are we? Uh -huh. Are we? Are we? Huh? Huh? Are we? Are we? You guys send me a text. Which one do you want to draw? Are we going to draw an owl flying? Ooh. Let's draw a fish. We're going to draw the fishy guy here. Let's draw the fish, and this fish is going to be looking down at this square, and then you guys will finish this square. Carrot wall, we're going to draw the fishy. Let's draw the fishy. Block it in here. Then we have, this is awesome, we have seven minutes of our 30 minutes of drawing time together. I just want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. Remember, if you're having fun, draw more with me on Amazon Prime. Draw more with me on YouTube. Uh, draw more with me on draw3d.com. By the way, if you guys do uh, like draw3d, here's a secret, a secret code. You guys want my secret 50% code on draw3d? Look at this. You can write it's 50% off for any of you families or teachers. Just type that in. I'll give you half off. Thank you to the Mark Kistler Imagination Initiative to offer the planet a 50% off code for that. Let's draw the near eye right here. Let's put this eye back behind here. You guys are doing so great. I love it. I love it. Let's draw the little fishy guy. Now here's overlapping. That's another one of those 12 words. Let's put this let's put this uh, in front. See, this is in front. This is in front. It's overlapping. It angles up. See, it angles up because of our drawing direction compass. And I'll tell you more about that as we progress through the day. This goes up in direction northwest. Now, I'm going to clean this up back behind here. I'm going to clean this up back here. And I'm going to put this wing back behind here. This one's a little bit smaller, that fin back there, see? This one's closer and larger, and this one's further away. And then this one's lower, so let's draw, angle it down. Oh, that's so cute. Someone text me. Someone say, oh, look at the little fishy. What are we going to name this guy? Are we going to name this guy... Uh, fabulous fishy are we gonna name this uh, fabulous Frankie fishy what are we gonna name this little fishy guy are we gonna name this fishy guy uh, what are we gonna name the fishy guy how about how about uh, Bob <laughs> how about uh, uh, Sarah huh? it's up to you put some wrinkles back here put some wrinkles and then we'll draw, look, I ran out of room for his door. That dorsal's on the back, the dorsal fin, see? Draw the dorsal fin. You guys are, see, I'm not getting any text messages on here because you're so busy drawing. Am I correct? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Put the wrinkles here. Now, if you like these drawings, if you like uh, drawing the owl, this one's on Amazon Prime. This was on YouTube, my lessons on YouTube. This one right here is on draw3d.com that's draw3d.com the marshmallows are draw3d.com um, if I'm gonna tell you if you like uh, uh, let me see the ta if you like these draw look at this one's on YouTube you could I have a hundred uh, and uh, like 80 lessons on YouTube I hope you do this this one right here this is on uh, 
uh, Amazon Prime. So I hope you draw more with me. Keep drawing. It's so good for your brain. It's so good for your thinking. It's good for the way you think. You're going to become Jeff. You want to name the fish Jeff. I like that. You name the fish Jeff. That's funny. Okay, now look. I'm going to put the Here's the, the fish's fan. Now, here's all my times today, guys. If you guys want to log back in, check it out. This is my official time. Pacific time. 9 o'clock. 9.45. 10.30 is high school. 1 o'clock again, elementary. 1.45 junior high. 2.30 high school. 6.30 family workshop tonight. Pacific time. Very cool. Good to see you guys. I even did a little schedule to show you. Here, put the sun coming down here. Here's the sun. Here's the sun. So let's shade under here. Let's shade. You guys did so we did three drawings. I'm so proud of you. And look it. I want you to take I want you to take a challenge, would you? Would you do a challenge with me? Maybe you'll do the 30 day challenge. I did 30 days on YouTube, you guys. Who who's in? Who wants to try it? If you some of you online right now have done the 30 days with me. 30 days. Now, let's say you really, really had fun and you want to draw more with me. Tonight, I go live every night. 90-day drawings. It's really fun. We do a drawing every night. It's so cool. At least I think it's cool. <laughs> we have an average of about 2,500 viewers every 24 hours on my You Can Draw My 90-Day Challenge between YouTube and uh, Instagram and on um Facebook. So love to have you guys join us from all over the world. It's so cool. We are down to uh, two minutes. Wow. You guys, this is a blending stomp. I'm just blending with my stompy here. There's different sizes. You see the different sizes? So some, some of these sizes are much bigger. It means I can cover more area. Isn't that neat? Now I'm gonna here. I'm gonna give this fish a big mouth. He's like burping. Isn't that cool? Now the window's on the right side, so the thickness is on the right side. It's awesome. We love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and shade inside that mouth. Oh, we did great timing, you guys. And 90 seconds left for our 30 minutes. I'm gonna repost these, you guys. I will repost these on YouTube. So uh, it'll be. Uh, under the title of um, the Pacific Coast webcast and uh, it'll be in a separate group by itself the Pacific Coast Pacific Coast live K-12 webcast brought to you by the Mark Kistler Imagination Initiative please go to my website click the nonprofit um, you teachers and you parents if you if you like the idea of what we're doing is promoting inspiring the kids around the world through drawing please um, uh, pitch in, make a donation. We we run entirely on you guys' grace, hospitality, and generosity. Here's my uh, uh, my um, schedule. I'm going to be going to Portland, Oregon, uh, Wizard World, February 22nd, San Diego Comic Fest, March 7th through 10th, Seattle, Lambert City, March 14th through the 17th, Chicago, C2E2, March 22nd. You can do a screenshot of that if you want. April 5th through 7th, West Wizard World, St. Louis. May 10th through 12th, Comic Palooza in Houston, June 15th through 16th, Washington State Summer Comic Con. If you guys have any contacts in any children's hospitals at any of these cities right here, please let me know. If you go to the nonprofit, you see I visit children's hospitals in England and in uh, India and uh, in um, Minneapolis and in San Diego, and I want to visit children's hospitals in all these cities. I'd love to go and visit the kids when they're go and the families when they're going through their blood transfusions or chemotherapy or any of their medical treatments. I'd like to give them just a little bit of distraction, a little bit of joy, and draw a picture with them. Maybe teach them how to draw something or just draw a cartoon with them. I got some wonderful pictures on the nonprofit page. Check it out. And thank you guys. The only way I can get into these children's hospitals is by you making the introduction for me. So thanks so much. Well, there it is, you guys. There is our our 30 minutes of drawing thank you guys that is i'll stop that and i am going to get ready for my next junior high lesson starting in just a few minutes you guys are awesome thank you for drawing with me bye everybody